Hello, this is Michelle Knight. This is the astrological update for Capricorn for the whole of November 2016. And what a full on month it is. There's a lot going on for you and some fabulous things happening, but also a few challenges for us all. Let's start at the beginning, which is, I think, quite good as we have Moon, Venus and Saturn all conjunct in your position of idealism, compassion, empathy, um, spirituality, maybe illusion and addiction the choice is yours but certainly you can look at your personal relationships in a, in a kind of more soulful way in a more compassionate way and because of that maybe you're able to make a commitment however be careful that you're not being too idealistic or someone else isn't being too idealistic about what they say and they can't live up to those promises having said that on the fifth it's a lovely little day for relationships with venus trining uranus and you're sort of feeling great about possibly even an unexpected trip to someone else's house or unexpectedly someone comes to your house or perhaps even a little family get together, but it's quite joyful. Now on the 8th UK time, which is the US presidential election day, there's some kind of tricky, interesting T-square if you involve Eris and Ceres. We have Uranus, Eris and Ceres all conjunct in your position of family and home, but it's opposing Jupiter in your position of Korea and it's squaring Pluto in your sign and that's squaring Uranus, Eris and Ceres. So basically there are some issues and some boundary issues and some changes to be made. Possibly you're confronting things and healing an old wound connected to your family or possibly somebody's trying to repeat an old pattern with you and you're like, no, I'm not having it. I'm, I need to heal this once and for all. For the world, it means a surprise, um, and it's a surprise we all have to deal with. Uh, please, please let it be a good surprise. I'm hoping, because all the goddesses are in there, that it will be a good surprise. Uh, but we'll, fingers crossed, and we'll see what happens. Mars is shifting on the 9th, and it's making you determined to physically get out there and make some money, and to build up stronger foundations. On the 12th, happy days, Venus is in your sign. You have an air of love magic around you, a sort of special little glow that draws people to you. Mercury on the 12th is also going into your position of spirituality. You're very psychic for a few weeks. And on the 14th, there's a full supermoon in your position of joy and happiness. You should have some giggles, some laughter, some sensuality, some pleasure, some fun on the 14th that makes you giddy with joy, fingers crossed. Now, of course, if there is no joy in your life or you're denying yourself joy, it could be quite an emotional time, but it gives you the power to think about your happiness. Neptune goes direct on the 20th. You've got great imagination and great ability to dream and, and communicate your dreams. We also have on the 21st Jupiter squaring Pluto in your sign. There may be a big clash or commitment issue around your career and your identity. And on the 22nd, the sun enters your area of spirituality and you're, you're heading into a time where you're feeling more connected, more spiritual, more in tune with your soul and more open to life's bizarre synchronic synchronicities and messages. And you're committing to that, actually, because Mercury is conjunct Saturn on the 23rd. Venus is conjunct Pluto in your sign on the 25th. Massive day for you. Can be an amazing sensual experience or it can be an ending and a beginning when it comes to love it's certainly you're feeling things and really intensely the new moon on the 29th is again a new cycle for you when it comes to your spirituality and your soul's journey and on the 29th venus the planet of love in your sign is squaring uranus the planet of the unpredictable again there may be some family issue that you've got to heal to really be truly free and if anybody's interfering in your relationship, in your family, then you deal with that on the 29th. Have a stunning, stunning month. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for listening. And please, if you haven't yet, it'd be great if you could subscribe, share, like or comment. Take care. See you next week.